Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to share with you how to create this uh, sculpture using FreeCAD. So in FreeCAD, today I'm going to use uh, the Curl Shape Workbench and the Curl Workbench together to uh, create this sculpture. So uh, if you like this design, uh, this you can follow my tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so I start by creating a new document and in the sketch workbench, I create a new sketch on the top view. I create a line from here to here and I select this point and this point and the center line and I hit S for symmetry constraint. Now I select this line, hit L set it to 33 next i create this line start from here put here one point in here one point another point in here the next point and the last point i select this point and this point hit v for vertical constraint this one and this one, hit V. This one and this one, hit H for horizontal constraint. I select this point and this point, hit L, 20. This point and this point, hit L, 10. This point and this point, hit I, set it to 15. And this point and this point, hit I, 11. Enter. I zoom in here, this point and this point, hit I, set it to 4. Enter. Now the sketch is uh, fully constrained. Now I can close that and I will call this one for five. Enter. Next I create another sketch on the top view. And I will reference this base plane and I create a line from the center of the sketch to here. I select this point and this display, set the constraint to it. This point and this line, set the constraint. Now I can close that and I'll call the next sketch a reference line. Enter. Okay. Now I create another one, another sketch on the front view. I reference this line. And in this new sketch, I create arc, three point arc. I start from here, bring it here. Another arc from here to here. Make sure this point uh, you set the constraint, uh, this point and this line. Set a constraint to it. And I select this point. I hit I. 204.6. Enter. Now it's a manual. I move this point up a little bit. And I create a field that in between this arc and this arc. So now you can see we have a new field that created in between. I click on the field that and I set the radius to 40. Enter. I select this point down here. I hit I. 70. Select 
select this point and this point hit L 25 enter I zoom in here and I select this point and bring it up a little bit I select this point up here hit I 80 I set the radius to 100 enter in this side I create another arc from here up here I select this point hit I 52 enter select this point hit L 32 enter Select this arc, set the radius to 160, enter. And also create another line from here up here. Make sure this line is have uh, the vertical constraint on it. And select this point and this point, hit edge for horizontal constraint. Now we can close that as a male and and call this one front shape enter next I create another sketch on the right view and I will reference I rotate the sketch a little bit and I reference this this uh, reference slide and I go back to the right view I create this plane Two point and the last point up here, and I reference this point up here. I select this one and this one, hit edge for horizontal constraint, and this point and this point, hit V for vertical constraint, select this point, hit I 70, this point. Hit I, one sixty, enter, and this point, and this point, hit L, fifteen, enter. Also, this point and this point, hit L, thirty, enter. And I also uh, create another line from the center of the sketch up here, uh, snapping to this point up here. Close that. I call this one right underscore shape. Enter. Now uh, it's time to go to the uh, curve shape reference. I go to the curve shape workbench. So if you don't have the curve shape workbench, you can uh, go to Tool, Add On Manager, and click on the workbenches and search for the curve shape workbench. Click on the curve shape workbench and you install it. After you install it, you restart FreeCAD and you have it. You click on the profile, control, click on the uh, front shape and the right shape, and you use this tool, curl array. Click on it, and you can see in the G view we have a new curl array created. I click on it and I go down to the data. You can see in here in the items we have four items. I will increase it to 40, 40 uh, items. And instead of uh, using the surface is for a generate to two. Now a new uh, surface object uh, created. I select the curl array and hit space bar to hide. Now I go back to the sketcher workbench. In the sketcher workbench, I create a new sketch on the front view. 
and I will reference this curve and this curve and I create a curve in between from this point to this point and curl like this I select this curve and this curve hit T for tangent and then I just create um, a line from here up here and another line from here to here I just close that like this I close the sketch now I can show the curve right I go to the platform bench I select the new sketch 004 I extrude it 100 mm symmetric and create solid click OK now I control select the curve array and the extrude and I just cut it yes next I go back to the sketcher workbench and I will drop down the cut drop down the curve array and I select all of these three sketch and the hit space bar to hide it I go to the front view make sure you select nothing and create new sketch on the front view I view the section and I create a line like this I select this line and set the length 70 the angle between this line and this line 55 select this point, hit I 100 select this point and this point, hit L 45 enter now I can close that next I select this sketch and go to the product workbench and it's through it also 100 symmetric ok now I select this cut and control select this is true go to prep compile uh, sorry split and slide to compile next I go back to the sketcher workbench and create a new sketch on the front view I view the session and I will reference this curve and this point up here I create this fly start from here put on one point here one point here another one and also a line from here to here set the land 105 103 enter Select this line and this line, set angle 25. Select this point, hit I 80. Select this point, hit I 95. And select this point, hit L. Well, now I can close that. And I also uh, zoom in close here, select this point and this point and create new sketch based on the OS and Y. Okay. And I will reference this point in here, touching the red line. And uh, I will create a three point arc from here to here. And curve in a little bit. Uh, I select this curve and I set the radius to 90. Enter. Now I can close that. Okay, so next I will uh, fill the surface in between. I go to the surface workbench and I will use the filling tool and fill this curve, this curve, and this curve. 
Okay. Now I click on this surface, hit space bar to hide it. Doing the same up here. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. So let this one hit space bar to hide it. Now here. This curve and this curve. Okay. Select it, hit space bar to hide it. In the back, I go to the the part workbench and shape builder. I click on Y for match and control select this edge, this edge, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And hit create. Now I can close that. I select this Y, hit control C for copy and control V for paste in it. I select the new Y and go to the placement position and in the Y axis put it to 4mm. I click on the loft tool and double click on the Y and the Y001 raise solid. Okay. Now I can show this grid surface. His spy bar to show it. And go back to the curve workbench. Control select on a surface available in the viewport. And create a solid. And then hit space bar to hide on of the surface. Okay, so now I click on the drop down of the loft, I click on the Y and I hide it. Okay, so next I uh, control select on off the sketch that available in here and just hit the space bar to hide it. And I go to the part workbench. I come down here and select this edge and fill at it. One. Okay. Next, I uh, zoom close here and control select this edge. This one. This one. This one, this one, this one, and I will fill at it to three. Okay. Next, I zoom on the top and select this edge and control select this edge and fill at it one. Okay. Just waiting. Okay. Okay, so next I zoom in close here and control select this edge and this edge and fill at it. One. Okay. Okay, now I select the fillet 003 and control D and I choose aluminum. Okay, I close that. Next, I select this fillet 003. I go to the view and change the deviation down to 0 0.01. Now we just uh, finish um, modeling the sculpture using the curved shape of range. So thanks for watching.